the absolutely gospel music dance. We are here with the uh, Triumphant Quartet. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Which, whose website Woo! is tributequartet.com. <laughs> so, you guys aren't triumphant? Well, nope, not today. <laughs> but our website is tributequartet.com. Yeah. Okay. We can be tri uh, triumphant all day long as long as they go to tributequartet.com. <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry for being confused here, but, you know, these, they, they kind of look like triumphs. Yeah. 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 Tall and athletic. Yeah. No, yeah. Tall and athletic. Yeah. Me and Eric. The, the tall tall Eric. bass singer. You know. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 anyway, okay, well, this happens to be tribute, so I guess we'll go with that. So, Gary, how you doing? Doing great. Uh, we're just loving life right now. Things are going well. We we got through uh, 2020 like every other artist, and but God's been faithful this year, and, and so we're just excited and um, we're blessed. Wonderful. I think we can say that too. We made it through it. We're in onward and upward. But since last time I interviewed you guys, uh, have some different faces. Well, we do. I didn't say they were pretty, but they're different. <laughs> well, remember, you did call us uh, triumphant, so be careful. Yeah. Be careful. And uh, you know what, uh, Dion? Uh, uh, God has been faithful to Josh and I over the years with great talent. But God has sent him to the greatest talent in God's music today. And I don't say that lightly. Uh, anybody knows me well enough to know, uh, I won't say it if I don't believe it. But now, when do they get here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who are they? Gus who are is going guys? on three years with wow, Tribute Quartet, yeah. and then Ian is now celebrating all nine, a little over nine months with Tribute Quartet. He's about to be born. He's That's about right. to be born. That's and uh, so I, uh, we are blessed, and uh, just totally blessed. And like I said, uh, God's blessed us with a lot of great talent, but uh, we're just living the dream. That's good. Um, I, I probably know Ian better than I know the rest of you guys, even though I know you two pretty good. But um, I was trying to think of something nice that I could say about it. And you'll just move on, okay? So we we'll just go on from there. No, Ian, Ian uh, I met him when he was with my period. And I'll tell you what, he's just. He's come leaps and bounds as a basin. He's really matured, I believe so. Well, folks say it night after night. Just, uh, he's, he's, he's just an incredible bass singer. And not only is he an incredible bass singer, but uh, he's an incredible man. You know, he loves the Lord. And I remember the, uh, when uh, our former bass singer left uh, this past December, um, I didn't even put out that we was taking auditions. Uh, and... Uh, but within about 16 hours, we had 28 applications, and Ian was the very first one. And, and I tell this story night after night. Uh, he sent me about a three-page text, and I said, Ian, I'm not ready to go there yet. There's so much i got to do beforehand. I understand, I understand. Three hours later, I got another three-page text. <laughs> he said, I know you're not ready, but I want to share my heart. And there's something special when an individual wants to share their heart, to be transparent about their love for our Heavenly Father. And that's what, uh, that's how it was with Ian, that's how it was with Gus, and you know, just like that, that it's a God thing. And so, uh, we'll be next with that. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, you guys right here, you four really, really need a strength. I shouldn't say this, but I think you're my wife's favorite group. And, uh, the, uh, it's, it's still out on you. Know? <laughs> at, least, at least you're still in the running. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, listen, you, you need to be very careful what you said. You, you, you just told it yourself that we are your wife's favorite group, oh. and you've got to go home with her, so be careful. She <laughs> will know exactly what you said, and if she doesn't watch the video, I'll be the first one to call oh. her. <laughs> well, moving on, Gus, I feel Gus to be the nice guy in this video. Ooh, I don't know, Josh, what's it? Uh... <laughs> oh, it's uh, invigorating. <laughs> The only word I can think of. <laughs> 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 Listen, and, and I know you 
you've been doing this night after night, but you're, you're caught in the cup. I call it homeless. Just, uh, mm, it, it is touching hearts all over the place. I know every time we, we hear it, we end up sniffing a little bit. You know, and it is just, just a good time. You know what's amazing about that song is we had no idea of that song. And uh, Jim Brady, many of you know Jim Brady, yeah, he called and asked us to be part of a special celebration in Asheville, to celebrate the victims of Mr. Smart Horses, the songwriter. And uh, we didn't have a track for it. And I no. thought, what in the world are we going to do? And so I called Josh, and uh, that was a song that he heard his daddy sing. Am I right, Josh? Mm -hmm. For growing up, you grew up on that song. And to be able to record it, well, actually, to sing it that evening, and then, as we was walking off the platform, the producer of our quartet series, Mr. Gerald Wood, yeah. he said, hey guys, you've got to record that song. It's special. It will get to the hearts of the people they need to hear this song. And uh, that's exactly what we did. God has taken that song and ministered to a lot of folks. You know, 2020, a lot of the songs lost ones. Uh, Gus, he lost his daddy. You know, so that song now means a lot more to Mr. Gus than it ever has. And if that's what we're finding across the country, folks are coming up and saying, I have totally understanding of that song. So we are blessed that the Lord would entrust us with a great song from a great man, God, Mr. Scott. It's a song that's been sung by tens or twenties or thirties of groups. Absolutely. And, and every time it's done, it, there's something about a great song that's just going to be good every time it's sung. Well, good song is a lasting song. Yes. It's always lasting. The message is strong. Yes, sir. Gus and I were talking just a little bit ago about that particular cut. Uh, what, part of what makes it so special is Josh's treatment. Will, they didn't mention
once again, that's one of them songs, you know, a good song is a lasting song. The Wilburns recorded that song, I believe, back in 1990. And uh, so when Josh and I had our time with the Wilburns, we sang that every night. And so we decided when the Wilburns retired, uh, there was a what song are we going to take with us? Uh, you know, and that was one of the things I was I'm glad that we did. It's funny the way you just worded that. It's such a popular song, so we're going to our tribute that we've gone back to the new album. And he says, well, we should have taken the title of the album. So now he said, once again. Oh, yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah. but we were recorded with the current line. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. I don't have that. We'll make sure you have it. No. Well, we're going to make sure your wife has it because after how you treat her, first we've been triumphant, and then you are giving Ian a hard time, and then Gus is the favorite child now. We're going to take it to your wife. Oh, man. I love it. You know, I, I used to be able to control these images. You know? it, it, all but gone. your hints are so subtle. <laughs> Anyway, let me let me see if I can get you guys to throw something together here. I always ask, and I've asked you guys before in interviews, uh, if you could say something to, to the audience there. Now, so many times they think oh, those guys on stage, their life is great. It's just it's just perfect, and and they don't realize that you guys go through the same thing. You know, you you wake up with sniffles. You know, you stub your toe. No, you, you lose love for yeah. And so just tell us a little bit about this. Well, you know, here's the thing. Uh, we, we go through the very same things that everyone makes. Uh, and the perfect example of that, a, a year ago in August, uh, on August the 10th, uh, my dad finished his earthly journey and made it to the place that he has preached about and sang about all of his life. And so... Uh, it's, it, it's amazing the change that that makes in your thought process and the way that you approach things on a daily basis. I still, over a year later, find myself where something happens and something exciting and I'll, I'll, I'll reach, like I'm going to call Dad and tell him about it, you know. I miss him terribly, but I'm so thankful that God honored him and allowed him to go in the way that he did. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt where he is. And every time we sing that song, it reminds me because the, the project hadn't even come out yet, but I had rough mixes. And I brought a little CD home for him and allowed him to have that CD. And, and he and I would sit and talk about the music, and he loved He was a big Squire fan anyways. And he loved that cut. He loved the cut of that song. And, and so it was really neat because uh, uh, it's something still to this day, every time Josh starts that verse, he's in my mind. It's like I go there. I, I, I remember what that meant to him. So it's real for us. You know, it's, it, it, it's real for us. And I think that's what allows us to convey what we convey on a daily basis. Because when it's real to us, we're able to share that in a way that makes it real to them as well. And, and that's what makes it incredible. That's what makes it special. You know, here's the deal. It, it's all for naught if we leave a place and haven't affected anybody's lives. You know, it, it's like the thing that gets you on the bus every week is the fact of knowing that lives are going to be changed. And just, you know, that prayer of God... Allow me to be a vessel. Keep me out of the way enough for you to show through and you to reach down and minister to these people in each other. And that's so what each of us are about and what we're trying to do with tribute. And I think that's why we're seeing some of the things that we're seeing because uh, God's word does not return to you. And when you put him first above everything else, he will give you the desires of your heart. And that is truly the desire of our heart, is to reach people and to get that message into people's hands, get it into their heart, let it change their life, change their existence. And that's what makes it as Well, Gary, I'm sorry I couldn't find anything good to say about you. <laughs> that's okay, I'm used to you. <laughs> So I, I'm giving you, I'm giving you a chance now because you know, if someone wanted to 
Supporting Absolutely Gospel, yeah. Yeah. supporting Southern Gospel music, and supporting Tribute Quartet. We love you, we appreciate you, and thank you for supporting. Yeah, it was a great interview. I really enjoyed it. I still enjoy it. Well, until next time, fans, 